Welcome back guys, test drive time in a 1967 Chevy Nova. This one here, 350 with aluminum head. And of course we'll be taking it down the road. Check this exhaust out. We're going to be taking the motor out with aluminum radiator. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. She sounds awesome. Detail pictures, financing and shipping. That's available at maplemotors.com. Be sure to hit subscribe about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. This will be the first time that I've actually sat in this ride. And really looked at everything. Ashtray there, opening the glove box, checking it out. Turn the key. Starts up good. Engine temperature is working. Looks like we're coming up on the oil pressure. Try some stuff such as the wipers. Yeah. What's this button? Not the electric fan switch. That's off. That's on. So that cut the electric fan on. Radio, we'll try it. I'll leave it on for a second and then I'll turn the turn signal on. Yep, it's flashing. And the back side, yep, that one's flashing. Tack. Sounds awesome. Love it. All right, guys, horns, you place your bets? Place those bets. Do you think the horn works in this ride? We'll check the visors to give you a little bit of time. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's like a 50-50 shot here, what do you think? No, you said no, you was right. Let's hit the road. Got y'all set up on the head cam here. We'll stick you to the window, hopefully you don't fall. I didn't lick it and stick it, maybe I should. Gotta lick it and stick it, guys. Or it will, it'll smack me in the face. No, <laughs> here we go. Pick up, pull back to reverse. Now if you buy this car, you can't get it out of park, you didn't watch the video. Pick up, pull back to reverse. Here we go. Putting her in drive now. And I've also got my meta glasses on. Now I'm just gonna leave her there. Here we go. We're gonna take off down the road. Decked out. Mopar, did you see that? There we go, guys. All right, we're gonna take off down the road. Anything I see, you'll know about it. As we're riding down the road, it looks like it's got a right pull. You can see it kind of drifting to the right there. Little bit of slack in the steering. Turning there, turning there. Back in the throttle. Okay, she quick. She's real quick. <laughs> Getting in the brakes. It's pulling to the left when you hit the brakes. Back in the throttle. Sounds awesome. Great oil pressure, good temperature. Now we're gonna have to stop and get a little gas because it's showing empty. I don't wanna run out. are stopping good they just pulling a little bit to the left all right guys I'm gonna try to find a pump here get some gas and I'll be right back Okay, so putting gas in this one's pretty easy. It's right here on the side. It did have a couple little chips around the gas cap there. 93's all we run. Looks like mayflies are out. Who's talking about fishing tonight? I don't know. 
You see mayflies don't even go fishing because they're full. <laughs> there we go. Jump it off in here. It's also dog days of summer. Gas gauge is coming up. So we didn't eat fuel. Good deal. Cut my electric fan back on and take off. to the car a lot and what we got going on decent oil pressure there engine temperatures at 200 uh, engine temperature will climb if you just sit in a parking lot at idle and just let it run 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 it's not very cool today so it's gonna heat up heat up but there's nothing wrong with it here we go head on back to the lot now Hey, you gotta lick it, you gotta stick it, put you back on the windshield so I can see what's going on. Still waiting on the traffic. Let's roll, guys. good sounds awesome going down the road plenty of power speedo is not working getting into those brakes this needs to be tightened up on that mirror there the brakes feel fine back into the throttle See, the temperature is still under 200 here. As soon as you got to rolling, went back, get a little bit more airflow in there. Give it a little hammer time here. <laughs> Bo 
bumping the road. Not so bad. Guys, getting ready to pull back into the car lot. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, share this video, and hit that like button. I notice a good 70% of y'all have not hit subscribe yet. It shows me that on my analytics. And if you do that, that greatly helps my channel. So please, hook me up, hit that subscribe button. And guys, picking out the flaws, chip scratches, rust, and dents is coming up next. I'll see you then. this ride start up here in the front chrome bumper in the front looks pretty good a little chip here rear looks pretty nice chips there we'll touch up marks around the front there and around here, you got some touch-up marks as well. On the edge. But down the side, working against the sun here. Or with it, let's say that. Little spots popping up, it's like bubbles. Spot there in the corner, cracking the paint here. chip on the door little spots here in the corner midsection a little grease there touch up mark mark there that should come off touch up mark little crack in the paint here crack up top see the seals kind of pulled up there probably leaks with that seal being up off the uh, body like that. Little cracks in your vent window. Pitting on your chrome. Spot there. Pitting in the corner. Some dirt up top there, don't we? Cracks in the paint in the back. Trim's a little high there. Touch up mark. Imperfections in the paint here, touch up marks. Chip there. Coming up to the back, the back bumper on this one looks pretty good. Bubbles behind that bumper there. You can see the work that's been done on the inside of this. Same with this side, it's been molded. Looking in our trunk, Spot there. Somebody put a hole there. Maybe, maybe they ran a hose or something at one time. Because they do have the battery back here. I don't know what they would have ran a hole there for.
Jeff, I was going to say give him a shirt. Cool. Guys, sometimes you can't work out a deal on a car or something like that. And people drive in, you got to hook them up. That's not a problem at all, especially when they're nice and understanding. And understand that this is an actual business that we run to support nine people. So, yeah. We'll give out random shirts for free to the right people. There we go. Especially people that buy cars for us. We'll give you two or three. <laughs> little gap there. Chip here. Speaking of that, I just ordered, got the guy a check today and ordered a bunch of merchandise. So we're going to have some hats coming in. Be sure to check that. I'll put those on the website. And the guy's supposed to be getting back with me this hard. He is taking forever, but hey, don't rush hard, I assume. You got some paint drips here on the side. cracks in the paint there hey <laughs> little drips there spots over here chips on the edge you can say somebody's repaired this corner too might not be the best repair but I'm pointing it out to you little chips up here as well Touch up, Mark. And yeah, there he goes. Those trucks are hot too. Uh, I would have liked to put that on the lot. He's drove it a long way. Little chips. Spot there. Marks. Light cracks in the paint on the side there. Scratch. mark there chips on the edge of the door I like this guy chip chip on the gas cap there too cracks at the top back window looks all right Touch up marks. Light scuffs. Mirror looks good. Vent window there's got some cracks and seal fitting on the chrome. Cracks there. The bottom. Up top. Some more. You got some touch up marks there. Over the top of the fender. You got a chip here. Guys made it around the outside of this ride. Let's go ahead and check out that interior. Pretty clean door panel. Fitting. Inside the jam. Seat.
headliner it needs to be stretched just a little but you could tell somebody just put this one in not too long ago a little stitching kind of separating there it could be fixed now before it's too late carpet in this one looks good white face gauges That marks here on top of the hood. A little scuff there. Chips. Chips on the side. Guys, detail pictures, financing, and shipping is available on all of our inventory. Check us out, maplemotors.com. And of course, hit subscribe here on the uh, YouTube channel. It'll help us out quite a bit. All right. See you in the next one.